But there comes to a point where you've cut everything, you know, the welfare state is cut to a bare minimum. Now, if they cut that back further, it's going to be, and it looks like they might, you're going to see real, it's going to be bad, right? And it's difficult to cut stuff there. But then, then how do you make the rich richer? How do you keep making the rich richer? And, you know, the only assets left are the houses of the middle class now, you know? So it comes to a point where, you know, you need to hit those people if you want to make the rich richer anymore, you know, because the economy is not growing. So the only way the rich get richer is taking assets from the rest of us. And, you know, we've cut their taxes, we've cut, you know, government services. Um, And now I think the conservatives are in this bind where it's like, how do you keep that machine going without hitting your core voter base, which is homeowners, you know? And I think they're, I think they're really stuck here because, you know, they, the only thing you can do here to prevent an economic collapse is tax the rich. And it's like their reason to be that they can't do that.